The key to finding that perfect Thanksgiving turkey recipe, the one you'll use the rest of your life, is really just keeping it simple. We've all tried a million things, frying it, roasting it half a dozen different ways, sticking a beer can up its ass, trying to play doctor with the thing, injecting it with long needles. All that stuff is overkill in my view. Simple is better. Replicability is the real goal here. Something you can do year over year and have it come out excellent each and every time. Let's get into it. Cooking whole bird to me is simply not the best way. Yeah, you can get that Norman Rockwell golden big bird picture, but it cooks unevenly. People spatchcock, and that's a good idea. You can butterfly the bird and keep the appendages attached. But there are still crevices there that you don't have to worry about if you butcher it fully as I've done here. All the separate pieces. We're taking the wing here initially to start, break it off by simply dislocating the joint forward and then cutting as it separates. Take off both those wings. Now we do the leg and thigh section. You have to get in there and cut away a little bit of the connective tissue and it sort of breaks away. And then again, you dislocate and then chop it off. You got the four quartered sections here with the big breast chunk in the middle. Now you got to remove the back, pull up and away. Now it's time for the dry brine, an absolutely critical step for the juiciness here. We're taking that cherry and hickory smoked salt that we made in the previous video, half a cup of it, and adding in two tablespoons of baking soda. Mix that stuff up with the birds on racks, uh, on trays, and so they has proper airflow, and just sprinkle this stuff all over all the bird pieces. Now we're throwing it into the fridge, 24 hours if you can here. Now we're gonna get this stuff outside the next day. Little canola spray, if you like, on all the pieces. Helps the, the gold bark adhere. Um, so remember, we're dousing all the pieces in rub here. We're not injecting it, not punching the breast full of a bunch of holes. We're just going with the topical. It will do its magic. Now, and here comes a big twist. We're roasting this at 325 degrees. So it's in a smoker, but it's not going low and slow. We need crispy skin. We've got a probe in the breast, and we've got a probe in the dark meat. It will come out looking golden like this when the breast has hit 155 degrees, that's early, I'll explain why here in a second, and the dark meat pieces at 180. At this stage, we could be done. We could end the video, you'll carve this thing up, serve it to your family, they would be absolutely overjoyed. But we're gonna make a sauce, a next level finishing move here. Two sticks of that smoked butter over low heat, start to let that melt, and then throw in about an ounce and a half of whiskey. Add to that about three tablespoons of the gold bark, and now you're gonna whisk it all up and make this absolutely decadent finishing butter sauce. Back to the glamour shot here, we need to get that breast meat off the breast plate. So using the center line, cut away and make fillets on each side at an angle thinly, slice the breast meat, and then carefully lift it back into another roasting pan here, one of those tinfoil things, and then douse it with that butter sauce. Cover it with tinfoil, Brush the dark meat pieces with the remaining sauce and then into the oven at 350 degrees on two separate trays. You'll pull it out after about 20 minutes and it will look like this. Outrageously tender, incomprehensibly juicy, and a flavor profile unlike anything you've ever had in a Thanksgiving Day turkey. This is Goldbark smoked turkey. Get it.